Good morning, everyone. Hope everyone's doing well. Uh, we've been here a while, they've been eating a while, um, but most of the pride have gone down to drink, and they're all coming back now. Uh, we've got the big male obviously on the kill. And uh, the cubs, there's more lionesses in the background coming. There's uh, four lionesses, nine cubs, and the, the one big male. Male lion name is Doa, Doa of the Bilashaka Coalition. If you're watching, feel free to type any questions in the chat. Um, I've, I've got three cameras on the go, so I might not see them immediately, but I'll try and answer what's going on. to know how big is the pride. Um, it is four females, nine cubs, and the one male that's here. But uh, there are five males in the coalition. But only one of them is here at the moment. The other four are the other side of the river with other prides. They don't only have the one pride. They were six, but they're not six anymore. We were also wondering about the hyenas, Ref, but um, they, we haven't seen any in the area yet. Uh, it, it's very cloudy, very cool at the moment. There's not a lot of smell emanating. There's no wind taking that smell anywhere. And it would have to be a lot of hyenas to try and challenge a big pride like this. How old is the male? I think it's um, must be approaching seven years now. The cubs, before anybody asks, are all just getting to about a year old.
Linda, this male is Doa, Doa of the Bilasheka Coalition. days will it last before they hunt again? Well, before they have to hunt again, it, it could be up to two weeks before um, they have to, before they will hunt again. They could hunt again tomorrow if there's something there. Um, yeah, the, the, at the moment, the migration isn't in this particular area, so there isn't a, a rather large abundance of food around, so they'll, they'll probably have to go uh, at least a few days before they get another meal. But uh, when the wildebeest are in the area, when the migration is here, they might make a fresh kill every day, not even finish the previous kill. How fresh is the kill? They must have killed it overnight. So, maybe a few hours because we. Sun's just risen now, about an hour ago. <laughs> Film myself, I'm not going to walk out there in front of the camera. It's probably not a good idea. I'm, I'm behind the camera. There's my fingers. There we go, that's all of me you're getting. Do the lions generally make sure the prey item is completely dead before they feed? No. No, they make sure it's immobilized. So with smaller prey, that means it's usually dead. But with larger prey, or tougher prey like warthogs, as soon as it's on its back, um, they'll start eating. If there's only one lion, then obviously to immobilize it completely, it would be completely dead. But when it's a pride, there'll be one on the head uh, or neck. Uh, subduing it, and the others will start eating as soon as it's on the ground. No vultures, also because it's it's so cloudy and cool. Um, vultures need hot air to get up into the air, uh, high enough to be able to see what's going on. So when it's cloudy, when it's low cloud as well, it's very misty this morning, they, they won't be up yet. So the sun's got to burn off some of this cloud before the vultures appear. And with the vultures, that might attract the hyenas as well. How many cubs there? There's nine cubs in total, last time I counted. They're not all on camera at the moment. There's a few of them uh, in the long grass in the background, a couple of them on termite mounds around, and they're all just under a year old. I think the, the oldest ones might even have turned a year this, this month thinking because I saw the oldest ones in October last year so yeah they could be could be already a year old and then the younger ones were born around December time or November December
You can see the, the buffalo's face, the meat has been taken off the, the nose and the cheeks. It's typical when you've got uh, cubs in the pride and the adults are feeding, they will go and get the softer parts away from the, the main body. And when, it's, when there's less cubs or the cubs are older, then that might be uh, some of the last things that get eaten. don't have a long-range microphone on the live camera on, on the other cameras you'll get uh, better audio when I upload it properly better film quality as well I'm sure on this camera all you're hearing is uh, lots of vehicles moving around Yeah, on a, on a big kill like this where there's still a lot of meat there, the male will uh, fight for his particular spot where he's standing, but he won't worry about the rest of the pride feeding. It's only on uh, smaller kills or when this particular kill uh, becomes nearly finished, then there'll be a lot more aggression between uh, any members of the pride, even the youngsters, as to who gets the last bits of meat. But, uh, the males are generally a lot more tolerant of the younger ones feeding than they are of the lionesses. Sure, they've spotted in the distance, so there's more of the pride in that general direction. Um, looks like the lioness is heading off to take a rest. Where we are right now, um, we would actually expect or be more likely to see the Marsh Pride here, or members of the Marsh Pride, maybe not the core Pride, but uh, members of the Marsh Pride. So it's quite a surprise to see the entire Paradise Pride so far towards the Marsh, really. But they've been pushing this way recently. Uh, they've been following the Buffalo Herd and uh, successfully, it seems.
to see the surroundings. Let's zoom out. That's what we're looking at. Got the escarpment in the background. The trees there are along the Mara River. They look for water, a lot of the prime have already gone for water. It, it rained heavily last night, so there's lots of puddles around. So they haven't gone that far. What is the temperature there in Fahrenheit? I have no clue. I don't really even know what it is in centigrade right now. It's, it's cool because it's cloudy. Um, I'm sure some people would say it's cold, but I don't get cold, so I, I don't know. Jeffrey, yeah. can your phone tell us what the temperature is in Fahrenheit right now? Uh, temperature right now? Yeah. No. <laughs> it's less than 20. Yeah. Maybe, maybe 16, 17 degrees centigrade. I don't know what it, what that is in Fahrenheit, unfortunately. Coalition also got, no, the Musketeers were Scarface and Brothers, of which there's only one left. Morani Scarface died earlier this year, uh, as did Sikio, and Hunter went missing almost two years ago. Uh, so that's that coalition used to have this area, they used to have this pride many years ago, though. There any threat to this coalition from other males? They're spreading themselves a bit thin. Um, they've got this pride. <coughs> excuse me. They've got this pride, the Paradise Pride, on this side of the river, and then they've got. Uh, I think they're pushing into two or three different prides on the other side of the river. Uh, where they are here, it's usually only Doa on his own. The other guys don't come here so often. We're very, very close to where. Halftail and Logal are with the Marsh Pride right now. Uh, in fact, if I look in the right direction, I can more or less see where Halftail was sitting um, earlier, maybe about a kilometre and a half away. Um, so, so that could be a threat. Um, and then I'm not sure what the males are like on the other side of the river. I don't go into the triangle. Did he ever have a brother? He's got four brothers, that there were five brothers uh, originally um, than him. So it was a six member coalition. They were called the Six Pack when they first started moving into the area. And um, now they're referred to as the Bilashaka males. Uh, there's the five of them left, four with the other prides, one with this pride. Someone asking about the weather. It's been hot in the days, except for today, and then rainy in the afternoons uh, the last week or so. Quite heavy rains in the afternoons, and that's why it's so cloudy today. It rained most of the night last night.
What happened to the six lion? The six male um, Baba Yar was in a fight with um, three younger males, the Salas males, towards uh, Riquero area. After that fight, we had very heavy rains and floods, so he could have died from injuries in the fight. He walked away from the fight, but he could have died from injuries in the fight, or in the six months where the entire area was inaccessible, anything else could have happened. But it, it's likely those injuries and the fact that the territory uh, in that area doesn't have a lot of prey probably led to his demise. often do I come on live? Not often enough. Not often enough. The, the, the signal's very patchy in the Mara and often uh, we have great sightings that I'd like to go live for but there's not enough signal to do it and luckily today we're, we're right up on top of the hill today so perfect signal. Because his attention is uh, there's a vehicle um, a slight distance away where people are quickly having a toilet break. So he's looking at those people peeing. But they're actually quite far away, so he's, he's not too bothered. He's peeing himself now. Will the prime have to travel to the river to drink? No, no, there's plenty of water around after the rains. There's, there's puddles everywhere. Any specific time to roar? Usually uh, in the night. Um, sound carries further at night. Uh, early mornings, late afternoon sometimes as well. Very unusual to hear them roar in the middle of the day. Looks like he's going to go and flop down in the grass somewhere. Digest for a while and then come back and eat again later. How old the male and female when they reproduce? Um, females any time from three years upwards. Males, it will depend when they can get a pride. They're, they're able to reproduce also at three years, but they don't usually get a pride until they're four or five. The black part on the ground close to us is mud and blood in the, in the bottom corner there. It's where they, they obviously opened it up first and as they fed, they've dragged it a little bit down. Smack Dad in the face, that's not a good idea really. Luckily he's full and doesn't care. How long will they take to finish breakfast? They seem to be finishing now and then they'll rest in the uh, close vicinity, make sure none of the scavengers come and then they'll start eating again. 
um, it can be because they haven't all eaten at the same time it can be staggered some might start eating again in 10 20 minutes and others might only come back in an hour Buffalo's hide looks like it was cut with a knife because that is the way that lion's teeth work. Their, their um, teeth at the side of their mouth are basically like a big pair of scissors. So as they use the side of their mouth to cut through, they cut basically a straight line as they move their head. It's called a carnassial shear and it's extremely sharp, it even cuts through their smaller bones. Would a male sleep with a lioness that's, you mean mate with a lioness that's related? Yes, they would. They, they, they're not bothered by things like that. How old's Doe now? He's, he's about seven. Um, seven coming up for eight, I think. Um, something like that. Yes, they, they were with the Marsh Pride, but they, they left the Marsh Pride to go to the Topi Pride and they left the Topi Pride to go to the Paradise Pride and the four other males have almost completely left the Paradise Pride to go to the River Pride and the Ululu Pride on the other side of the river now, leaving Doa behind to look after um, all these cubs, nine cubs here. about the cellar boys where they came from well they came from the Sellers pride that's why they're called the Sellers boys Sellers pride is one of the prides right down on the sand river area on the border with tanzania as far as one coalition to the other it varies it varies at the moment and um, we've got the uh, Logol and Halftail, they're about a kilometre and a half from here. And then um, on the other edge, on the other boundary of the, the uh, Paradise Pride, you've got the uh, Salas Males, but that would be four or five kilometres from here at the moment. And then uh, the other side of the river, I'm not sure what the territories are like. The lionesses help the male to defend the pride um, when they have to, yes. Do they usually eat the head? Uh, as I was saying earlier, um, which you obviously uh, weren't on at that point, it's uh, very typical that the head is eaten like that when you've got a lot of cubs in the pride. And uh, when they first start on the kill, the, the adults will get the uh, softer parts and the cubs will be left to... Uh, eat around the face like that uh, when there's not so many cubs or when the cubs are older uh, they'll still eat like that but usually later um, when there's less of the kill around all right as we've only got one left feeding i think we'll wrap up for now Thank you very much for joining us, and uh, as I always say when I finish a live, hopefully we'll go live again later and then it doesn't happen for like a week, so we'll see what happens. Right, one last question, why do they eat the eyeballs? Because they're nice and juicy, that's, that's why. Um, no other reason. Alright, thanks everyone, even the last one's finished, so feeding is finished, time for everybody to sleep. We're going to have breakfast ourselves. Bye bye. Can we go to the little where the lamp